I wanna to talk to you guys again about pore clogging ingredients and how an ingredient can actually clog your pores because it's not acting in the way you think it is. I think the anger and the outrage from me talking about this last time comes from the misconception that the ingredient itself is creeping into your pore and clogging it. That's not exactly the case with a pore clogging ingredient. So a pore clogging ingredient is something that forms an occlusive, oftentimes solid layer, layer over the pore, blocking the sebum that is coming out of the pore. All right, so the sebum gets stuck in the pore. That clogs it. That's a pore clogging ingredient. When you have a layer that is too occlusive, that does not allow for the breathability of the oils underneath, if you have an oily skin type, more things are going to be pore clogging for you. If you have a dry skin type, less things are going to be pore clogging for you because you don't produce as much oil. But the misconception of a pore clogging ingredient is just infiltrating my pore and like sitting in my pore. It's not the actual ingredient itself sitting in your pore, okay? This, this is like, why TikTok dermatologists say that pore clogging ingredients are a scam because of the public's misconception about what actually clogs your pores. I have my master's degree in biomedical engineering, literally did my master's thesis on formulating lipids and I have taken a class on the skin. Hi, that's literally how it works. I would be really concerned seeing a dermatologist disagree with that because I've also learned that from dermatologists, but yeah, I really hope this helps. Pore clogging ingredients. This, this is really good. This doesn't contain any of them. That's not sponsored. I, I bought that with my own money and I just use it, but.